everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you have not seen the first video I posted, please go look at it. The link is down below. So today I'm going to be working with flexi rods. So uh, for those of you who don't know, flexi rods are actually uh, a healthier alternative to curling your hair. I wouldn't say actually curling, more like waving, depending on how long you leave them in for. But yes, Healthier alternatives to curling hair. Why? Because there's no heat involved, so it's great. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to um, curl your hair. I actually, my hair is like a little on the damp side, not really, I just took a shower. Uh, for those of you doing this, do not use conditioner before doing this. Conditioner tends to weigh down your curls so they won't be as curly. So, uh, all right, let's get started. So I've actually just sectioned off my hair leaving only the top up and then the lower half of my hair down. The flexi rods I got from the beauty supply store for like $9 and it comes in a pack of nine and they're awesome. Um, so they work just as well as having the actual flexi rod brand. So I'm gonna start uh, by taking like a half of an inch of a section of hair. I'm going to take the rod all the way down and roll, oh my God, there's so much thunder roll the hair up. This may take a while, but uh, you don't actually have to wait for the heat. Roll it up, and then what you're gonna do is you're actually just gonna fold them on both sides. Sometimes your hair will uh, come up. Okay, so there you go. Fold it on both sides, so you're gonna wanna fold it like this, and then the other side you fold right down. This is very uncomfortable to sleep with, I have to admit. So uh, I suggest maybe doing other things instead of sleeping. So, you know, like cleaning your house or putting your makeup on or whatever. Okay, so uh, take another section and just repeat. top left and I'll take it down I think we have about four flexi rods left which means we used a lot so we need to be sparing so you're just gonna put all your hair right in the front the part doesn't matter so quick note when you're doing the top of your head, you want to make sure to go away from your face. Otherwise, when you uh, have the curls, they're going to be turning um, inside and it's going towards your face and it won't frame it as well. So if you could see, I'm going outside my face. And just roll up all the way and then down. Walk down the same road, you be there by my side. Standing strong as the waves roll. Okay, so now I am done uh, putting all the rods in my hair as you can see. Now uh, depending on your hair type, uh, I do have extremely straight hair. I would leave this in for about an hour to an hour and a half if you want them wavy and then depending, um, a little more than two hours if you want them really curly. Now again, the last time I tried it, I did accidentally use conditioner because I didn't know I was going to be using this. So uh, that might have been my mistake last time. but. Having like a good hour, an hour and a half will really give you a lot of volume and kind of like flip the hair. So it's it's really pretty either way. So the last thing you want to do actually before waiting, you just want to give it a little nice spray. I'm just using the Garnier Fruities uh, Style Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Hairspray. Only reason is because it's seriously hot outside. So uh, I'm just going to go give that a spray everywhere. doesn't have to be a heavy spray, um, especially if you're not going anywhere like extremely um, hot then you don't need that much just like a good enough amount to get all the I'll do it to get all the curls intact there and a little bit wet uh, yeah so I will check back in with you guys later see ya hello and welcome back so uh, 
it is now at an hour and 20 minutes that I waited and now the last step before taking out your curls you're actually going to take a blow dryer to it. I did say no heat but I do recommend using the blow dryer as just the last setting tool because uh, when you set the curls with a little bit of heat even if it's not straight to the hair it does tend to make them curlier so we're just going to blow dry it over it. So I just blow dried it for about five seconds as you can see my hair is starting to come out so actually I am gonna go ahead and take them out now. Okay so I have taken it all out and uh, it's actually it's it's quite um, wavy kind of voluminous which I really really like you're gonna go ahead and take some hairspray to your hair again now the trick is you're gonna wanna uh, flip your hair over and hairspray it you don't want to hairspray it too much you, to be hard you just wanna make sure that the curls set a little bit so So everybody, as you can see, this is kind of the voluminous, uh, wavy curls. Now, of course, if you want them to be even curlier, you can go ahead and leave them in, uh, you know, a couple more hours, and I'm sure they will be curly. I do not recommend sleeping in these. I've tried it before, and it's really uncomfortable. You have to find, like, a certain location of where to put your head. It's it's just awful. So. I don't recommend sleeping in them at all. But uh, yeah guys, so this is the final hour and 20 minute look. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. Again, this is just for like volume waviness. Um, of course, it's not going to be as great as your uh, your traditional curler. But if you don't have time to, you know, be holding your hair to the heat and doing all that, this is the this is a nice alternative. Thank you guys. Make sure you thumbs up this video and I will see you next time.